Hi guys. Today's topic, fitting in. Specifically going through high school. Now, you guys are probably looking at me and saying, Brad, you seem like a pretty fun guy. You must have had plenty of friends in high school. You must have belonged to many of the little cliques that go on. Wrong. Sophomore year, give or take, I was about five foot six and 300 pounds pretty big guy awkwardly enough I did make people laugh I did have a lot of fun about me but that's not what seems to bring in the people aka friends now going through all this from freshman year all the way up to senior year I've tried many different little quirks little this little that's to try to fit in with a certain group to get friends, girlfriends, acquaintances, to even even drinking buddies, even though I was like 15, 16, 17. Even though I was too young to drink, I wanted something just to hold on to, something to do on my Friday nights versus going home and playing video games. And it's just why I was fat. But, I mean, I've tried going redneck, going cowboy, going gangster, going like, little Mexican going to even a gangster chick. I mean, I cut you what say? And going through all this stuff just made me realize something. You have to love yourself. You have to be one with yourself. You have to fit in with yourself before you can fit in with anybody. There were about three or four friends that I had throughout the entire school and they were kind of separated through their own little cliques. We had, you know, good times outside of school and in school. Um, everybody seemed to like me, you know, they didn't give me too much, too much friction. But I did catch the whole, you know, your fat thing. Uh, school dances, I practically paid $3 to get into school dance just to go talk to these guys pointless. I was pretty much a wallflower. I mean, as I can see a lot of people nowadays are, uh, the way that, you know, obesity and depression and all that good stuff is going on. I'm just here to say that none of that is necessary. There's nothing to be depressed about. I mean, if you're bigger, you're bigger. It happens. If you have a little bit of a a bad home life. You know, it happens. Like, me for example. My dad, he's here on this planet. He lives 30 miles away. I've seen him twice this past year. Once on my birthday and once on Christmas. Other than that, it's nothing. You, in, deep down inside, you want to be in with the, the cool kids. Everybody does. But some people just don't look the part. Some people aren't just athletic like you should be. That's fine. That's perfectly, perfectly fine. Really. And I'm passing along information that may help somebody. If it helps one person. One person, then I'm doing my job. What I'm trying to say is... You have to fit in with yourself before you can fit in with anybody else. If you walk around saying, I hate myself, I hate my life, I hate this, I hate that, you're not going to fit in with anything. You couldn't fit into a club. Because it's really a one act. High the high school, the fir first act, always exciting. Second act, it's where the depth comes in. All else fails, you've still got a couple of friends that are long-lasting. I still have two friends that are long-lasting. I still talk to them daily. We still we live in the same town for Pete's sake. But you don't have to humiliate yourself or change the way you are or flop-flip your appearance just to get somebody to like you. I got a lot of crap because of my car. I had a lot of my interest in my car. My mom said, if you put half the effort you put in your car, you'd be president. Probably right. 
that's really it. Just be yourself. That's the stupidest, corniest line I've ever heard in my life, but it's the most honest and truthful. Be yourself. And the rest will come. What I'd like for you to do is just leave a comment below saying if you're running through the same problem or if you've had the problem or what humiliating thing you've done. Leave me a comment, all that good stuff, and we will see you later.